Hi guys, my name is Matthew. I'm the Alfa Romeo brand specialist here at Alfa Romeo of Naples. And today we're gonna to learn a little bit about the 2022 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. So I wanna go ahead and start with the design here on the front. Starting with the grill, we have a signature triangle, backwards triangle to be specific. And we do have the grill. This is Masano blue, by the way, Masano blue metallic paint. And right on the hood, you'll notice two ventilation areas and they're fully functional, which allows cooling for the engine. This does have a 2.9 liter V6 engine and it produces 505 horsepower and 443 foot pound of torque. Right over here, you've got the big headlights, you've got the daylight running lights here, and then you've got bi-xenon headlamps to go with it. Now, if we look at the side of the vehicle, we'll take a look at the wheels. These are 20 inch wheels and accompanied by Brembo brakes. You do have the red brake calipers on this with the white Alfa Romeo script, which is a really nice touch to the design. And another thing to notice right over here is the Quadrifoglio. Now, an interesting little story about the Quadro. Back in 1923, Alfa Romeo had a race car driver named Hugo, and he was down on his luck. He wasn't winning a lot of the races. And uh, as the story says, is one day when he went to the Grand Prix, he put a four leaf clover in his hat and he won that race. And since then, Alfa Romeo has adopted that emblem. We also have the exterior mirror caps, which are gloss black, accompanied by the gloss black exterior trim on the windows. Now, if we take a look over here on the inside, there's a couple things that I'd like to touch on. So we do have a full leather interior, and these are actually the sport seats that come with the vehicle. All right, and you've got full carbon fiber on the inlays. You'll also notice that there's the Harman Kardon speaker system. It's an option that's available on these cars. It's 14 speakers that are included in the speaker system. We do have a full leather interior all the way around, whether it's the front seats, the back seats, even on the doors, you've got leather and it's genuine leather. In the middle there, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but you've got two USB ports and heated rear seats, which here in Florida is not much of a necessity. <laughs> we'll walk on over to the back of the vehicle. You've got quad exhaust, which really gives it a nice sporty sound and a nice sporty look. And you'll notice also there is a Q4 here, which stands for the all wheel drive. And we'll pop this open right over here. And then back here, you've got plenty of room. If you pull this lever, the seats will go down. Okay, this MMI has a couple different options available as far as what you can do with it. A lot of the stuff is pretty standard nowadays, things like navigation, but we'll go over that and I'll explain a couple different things to you. So the radio functions, you've got AM, FM, X, those are all pretty standard stuff all the way around. But we've got navigation right over here. You could make it full screen if you'd like, or you can have a dual screen where you can see what's on the radio and at the same time see what's going on with the navigation. All right, and if we minimize that, we go over and you've got your phone option. So phone allows for Bluetooth, hands-free wireless pairing. We do have Apple CarPlay with a USB cable just connected to your phone and you do have Android Auto. The driver assistance. So this is something that I'd like to show you. So active blind spot assist. So that's gonna be your blind spot monitor, which is really nice. And it'll show a little triangle on your exterior mirror if someone's in your blind spot. You do have lane keeping assist as well. So you can choose to, uh, for it to warn you or actively wiggle you back into your lane. Uh, forward collision warning. So if you're speeding and you're getting too close, too fast to something, it'll go ahead and hit the brakes for you, which is nice. It's a good safety feature to have. So driver attention assist, if the vehicle notices that your hands aren't on the steering wheel for a certain period of time, it's gonna go ahead and alert you. And then you also have traffic sign recognition, which is pretty neat. It'll tell you what the speed is, the speed limit is wherever you're driving. You could also set a speed limiter, so it'll only allow the vehicle to go up to that speed if you've got kids and they're driving the vehicle. And then you've got park sense, which are sensors in the back and sensors in the front of the car, which will make an audible noise if you're getting too close and you also get a visual. And you do have a backup camera that's standard as well. In the Quadra, you do have a 2.9 liter twin turbo engine, which is actually designed by the same designer that designed the Ferrari engine. And that 2.9 produces 505 horsepower, 442 feet pound of torque. So it's definitely got a lot of punch to it. And you can feel that when you put it into race mode. And in a minute here, I'll just go over an example of the different driving modes so that you can see the difference in power. So now we are on the advanced efficiency mode. So you'll notice it shifts gears 
at a lower RPM. That way it can get better gas mileage. So now we're on advanced efficiency mode and we're gonna switch it over to normal mode and you'll feel a little more pickup with the normal mode. And in dynamic mode, you'll start to really see a difference. And then we've got the race mode and you can hear the exhaust and see the pickup. And now we're in race mode. So here's where you're really gonna see a difference. The sound of the exhaust, you can already hear it, and then the pickup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot down and take a look at this torque. All right. A couple things that I wanted to mention about the Alfa Romeo brand that I find pretty neat are all the standard features that come with these cars. You do have adaptive cruise control. That's a standard feature on both the Giulia and the Stelvio, which is really nice. A lot of other brands you have to pay extra on a different package for. Blind spot monitor. That's also backup camera is going to be a standard feature as well. Whereas in other brands, you'll actually have to pay extra for, which is really nice value that Alfa Romeo brings to the table. Again, thanks for watching. My name is Matthew. I'm the Alfa Romeo brand manager here at Naples Motorsports. And if you've got any questions about the Alfa Romeo brand, you can feel free to contact me at 239-306-8658 or you can shoot me an email at Matthew with one T at NaplesMotorsports.com.